Hey y'all, I got a new deck tech for you today. So before I get into the video, I wanted to change up from Dragon Shield, so I'm, I am using the Turquoise Katana Sleeves. This is my second time using these sleeves. They are a little slipperier, but still well made. I also, for any edits I make to the deck, like always, I will leave the deck list in the description below. So, Subjective Reality. Um, Commander 2018, instead of using the Planeswalker from the Commander deck, I am using Yannette, Cryptic Sovereign. So, for two, one white, one blue, one black, for a total of five converted, you get a Flying Vigilance Menace. Whenever Sovereign attacks, reveal a top card of your library. If that card's converted mana cost is odd, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's not odd, draw a card. So, I have nothing but odd mana cost cards in this deck, obviously. I call it Esper Cheat. That is because it basically top decks and cheats out cards. So, for the deck tech, I have 37 lands. Six planes. Seven island. Four swamp. Utility lands. Arcane sanctum. Chancenary. Blooded, Gear Tract, Bajuka Bog, Command Tower, Demar Aqueduct, Evolving Wilds, Hellmore Deaths to look at the top cards, put them in any order. Savage to return a creature from a graveyard, Isolated Watchtower to Scry, Lonely Sandbar, Orsal Beliska, Rogue's Passage, help make it unblockable. To give me mana of any color, Stippy for card draw. These two for uh, scrying ability. I might get Temple of Deceit as well and replace it for the Thriving uh, Heart, Heath, and Isle. I might replace one of those. But so far, that is utilities. Now, these sleeves, I love the color. I love the fill. Kind of slippery. Creatures. I only have one even cost creature. Uh, and I have 23 creatures. Whenever I cast a historic spell, scry one. For when I have my historic spells, I need to cast them. Topogeist. Even cost, starfish to scry. Control my top deck. Vocal. Invoker. Sorry. Uh, tap all creatures, target player controls. Daxos, Fiend Hunter. <clears throat> Put a Barbary counter on stuff. Gain control of someone's creature. Eye for mana. Seagate Oracle. Thalia. Gotta have her. Tutoring ability. Uh, Vega for card draw. Geo Golem to play my commander. Mold Drifter, card draw. Pretty self explanatory. Seven cost creatures, Bane of Galogad. When it attacks, target player exiles to permanents, Enigma Sphinx. So I do have most of the same cards in here. Sinstone Oracle, Artisan. This I just pulled, and I was like, Cascade. Hey, that's good. Uh, void. To prevent everyone from playing even cost spells. Which won't affect me at all because I only have one even cost spell. The rest are odd. I have two planeswalkers. The original commander, still pretty good in this deck because it's odd. Jace Mirror Mage. Uh, if it's in my hand, I'll play the kicker cost. If not, I'll just play it regularly and still use it for the scry ability. Now, 
Enchantment. Eight. Chorus form to make my commander unblockable. Soul snare to protect some stuff from a creature. Gaia's form. Uh, just to attach it to Yannette and have it deal no damage. Just to have the attack and have no damage dealt to it. Still triggers the ability. Go through prison. Mystic. Reaction. Scry 1. Want to do that scrying ability. Propaganda. For protection. Palace Siege. Most of these I'll be able to play for free, hopefully. Now I am thinking of doing less spells because I do have a lot of spells artifacts I have 11 classic soul ring a clue stone because it's 3 and card draw chariot of victory, first strike, trample and haste for my commander command sphere, mana mana, clue stone mana and card draw it's odd as well, mana geode, get that more mana get more mana uh, Sears Lantern, so I can scry. Unstable Obelisks, so I can destroy a target permanent when I need to. Uh, same with Spine. Uh, just so that removal. Some pretty self explanatory. Whenever I reveal an odd cost, I get to play it for free. So. I do have a lot of expensive odd mana values in here. Hopefully I don't have to worry about that. Is my thinking. I have 18 spells. A lot of expensive stuff. Uh, Dark Ritual for mana. Seeming Symmetry. Grip Shawl. <laughs> nope. That is not Shawl. That's Swap. Whatever. Moving on. Dream Catch. Get that odd... Esper Charm, get some removal, exposed to daylight. Removal and scry ability, so I can control what's going on on my library. Forbidden Alchemy, Mortify, Murder. He's getting more expensive spells. Again, I won't hopefully have to worry about it. Just some 1 1 creatures. Rise from the Grave, Switcheroo, Time Wipe. Unburial Rites, Orborg Uprising. Let me get my creatures back. Approach from Second Sun, Wincon, Emergency Powers, and Faded Return. A lot of scrying ability, a lot of returning creatures from my graveyard. So, obviously, I was able to get through this deck tech a lot faster than most because, again, it's kind of self explanatory. I have a lot of Odd man, uh, converted mana cost creature spells, spells, uh, sorceries and instants. I mean, enchantment spells. Um, basically, a lot of reveal my card, it's odd, put it on the battlefield. So, it will be pretty, pretty intense deck to play. I am excited, excited to test it out. If you like this deck tech, please leave a like, leave a comment, and it takes like a second or two to click the subscribe button. It helps out a lot. Thank you for watching.